In this video, we're going to be doing a noise test comparison for the GTX 1080 SLI setup here. Um, I will go ahead and remove the mesh side panel here on my Corsair 600T so you guys can get a better uh, sense of how the noise sounds. This is similar to the setup that you guys saw in the AMD, the Crossfire video. Uh, you can see if I shine a light in here. Again, we're using the same Corsair HX1200 watt power supply, uh, which is a little bit of overkill for this setup, but it's always good to have more than not enough. Um, and then here is the GTX 1080 with the official NVIDIA. These are both Founders Edition cards or reference cards with a single 8 pin on both of them. So you can see there. Um, and then I do have an Aver Media Live Gamer HD2, that's for my PlayStation 4 or Nintendo Switch for capturing gameplay to my desktop. Um, and then wedged in between them in the PCI X1 slot or PCI, yeah. And then I've got, yeah, the HB Bridge, the Ryzen CPU cooled by an NH, a Noctua NHD14. Um, and that's pretty much it. So. Uh, let's go ahead and do this benchmark test and let's see what this sounds like. The motherboard is a Crosshair 6 Hero, it's X370, with a CPU which is the Ryzen 2700X. Alright. So let's go ahead and start that. I will also show you guys the power consumption. Go ahead and get this right. Alright. So benchmark is loading up here, so it's taking a while. All right, so I think that gives you guys an idea of the noise figure. As you can see, the Cooler Master, or not, no, the Corsair power supply still has yet to turn the fan on, which indicates to me that the power consumption is not all that high. Put my finger on the cooler here. I want to see if it's really hot to the touch. Yeah, it's a bit warm. HBM bridge isn't even that hot at all. So, this is like an acrylic aluminum body or something all right so and these are running at factory stock settings right out of the box i did not bother to overclock them or do anything with undervolting or any of that nature so let's take a look at the power consumption while this benchmark is running and just to show you guys what the benchmark looks like um, it is the final fantasy 14 benchmark okay so let's look at power consumption real quick. All right, so there we go, 605, 576. Keep in mind, this is an SLI setup. So this is total, why is it doing that glare like that? System, this is total system power draw from the wall. All right, it's doing a load transition, so that's why it's down here. Right now it's loading another, see, here we go, starting up. This is the swimming scene. Okay, so, uh, yeah, it's significantly less than Vega, that's for sure. It's about half the power consumption. This right here, this is SLI, 
and these numbers there's 600 there okay there we go there we go that's more like it because uh, I've seen it go over 700 watts uh, from the wall but you kind of have to watch it to see the spikes to like 700 watts so but in general it's definitely significantly lower than the Vega 64 I think we pretty much proved that here so this is why like I was saying in the previous video um, AMD in terms of net like prioritizing what to do for the next generation release in this case Navi uh, power consumption is priority number one and I think this proves it because the GTX 1080 performs very similar to the Vega 64. They can both be configured for dual GPU. The only problem is two of these together in SLI with their dual 8 pin. Well, now I mean it's single 8 pin. 8 pin plus 8 pin. Now you've got two 8 pin. That's equal to one Vega, which has two 8 pins right out of the box off the top. So it looks to me like power consumption has to be a priority for the next generation Radeon cards. Um, so that's effectively, this is effectively the power consumption of a single Vega 64. Um, you need to have two GTX 1080s to match the amount of power consumption of a single Vega 64. Um, and that's, that goes to show right now how far ahead uh, NVIDIA is in terms of gaming performance because I, I'm not going to uh, shortchange AMD. AMD's compute capability of their Vega card is amazing. Um, for what it is compared to NVIDIA. Like, I haven't even seen... This benchmark runs the whole time, and I'm not even seeing the fan spin at all on the HX 1200. It's just kind of, like, chilling the whole time. It isn't even hot to the touch at all. Wow. So, that's pretty good, because I would say if I was going to be doing an 8-hour gaming session with dual GPU setup, SLI, the bridge is kind of annoying. At the same time, it does look kind of cool. Um, it just kind of looks cool like that, but whatever. All right, guys, that was SLI. I'm not even going to bother doing single card for NVIDIA. You guys know the noise for the dual GPU. Um, single would be a little bit quieter probably, and then the power consumption would be a little bit lower as well. So, having said that, That's our result, 15,257, so that's a little bit better than Vega, that's because this game does use GameWorks HBO+, Plus. but other than that, that's all I have, and I will catch you guys in the next video, thanks.